Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nay and on my channel I talk a lot about motherhood, a lot about my life, mistakes I've made, things I've learned along the way. I have a 14 month old son named Carter, I do baby led weaning, to take sort of like the Montessori approach to motherhood. Yeah, if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned in the first year of baby led weaning and things I've learned just since we started baby led weaning at six months. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Tip number one would have to be to know your baby and serve the food according to the way they eat. So for example, if your baby has a tendency of shoving food into their mouth, maybe try cutting the food into larger portions so that it's a little bit harder for them to shove it all in their mouth at once. Because especially with baby load weeding, it's very important that you give them that opportunity to kind of shove, to learn that it is too much, to kind of learn their limitation on things and to learn what they can and can't handle, you know? Number two, if your baby likes to throw their food on the floor, I recommend just giving them smaller portions to sort of make them not want to throw it on the food. Number three would have to be sign language. Um, sign language has been the biggest game changer for us. It has not only helped in eating, but also during playtime. Carter will let us know if he wants more food, if he's all done. If your baby has a tendency of just like throwing their tray off whenever they're done, uh, teaching them sign language will help as well because whenever they try to throw their tray off, you can redirect them. What we do is I say, Carter, are you all done? And then he'll show me that he's all done and then I will just remove them from the chair. Obviously, it's easier said than done because in that moment when they're about to throw that tray off, it is the most frustrating thing in the world. But if you just kind of take a step back mentally and <laughs> reassess the situation, I promise you the results are a lot better. <laughs> Number four for me would have to be washing baby's hands in the sink instead of wiping them down. It helped us a lot because whenever we first started baby led weaning, my biggest thing was the mess and obviously baby led weaning is nothing but mess so <laughs> but the whole cleanup process not only does wiping them down waste so many wipes but it also is just so much more time consuming is taking them over to the sink and literally wiping their face rinsing their hands off it just saves you so much time honestly and so much frustration because you don't have to deal with the screaming baby tip number five we introduce a new food i usually like to serve it with a familiar food so for example whenever i introduced carter to ravioli uh, put some cheese on the mozzarella cheese uh just to kind of give him that little gateway to the food so i know he likes cheese so i knew that if he'd seen cheese on top of his plate he would go for whatever the cheese was on tip number six if your baby isn't eating a lot at mealtime because they are having lots and lots of snacks throughout the day i would definitely limit the snacks that you give your baby at least an hour or two up to mealtime to make mealtime a little bit more successful because we've started weaning carter and i cut out the two middle of the day feedings i found myself offering him a lot a lot of snacks and it just really started to affect mealtime and he wasn't eating nearly as much um, and I was spending all this time making his food and he was barely even eating it. It was just so frustrating. If you do baby led weaning, you know how frustrating it can be when your baby doesn't eat a whole meal that you've prepared. When or if vegetables become a struggle for you, God forbid they don't. I mean, God forbid they do become a struggle because, oh my gosh, try giving your baby veggies while you prepare the food or try giving them fruit while you prepare their food if they're still not very keen to vegetables but i would try to give yourself a little bit of grace there just in the sense that you can make sure that your baby is getting all the proper nutrients and everything through both fruit and and vegetables so if your baby isn't eating plenty of vegetables you can always just look up the, like what vegetables contain which vitamins and you can just add a few more of those fruits not and look up what fruits have which vitamins and benefits to the to baby and then I would serve those fruits just like you would those vegetables 
just so you know your baby's getting the proper nutrients. Number eight. This probably isn't like the best tip, but it works for us, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, Carter, he is the toddler who gets super duper antsy during mealtime. He has, has trouble sitting down for a super long time, and after he's eating for a little bit, he gets just uninterested after he's not super hungry. He just starts to play around and get uninterested. He'll sit with his foot up, propped up onto the tray. He's just a whole mess. I like to put him in front of a TV just to sort of keep him a little bit distracted, keep his eyes distracted so that he can eat with his hands. I don't know if that's truly how that works, but that's how I think it works and it works for us, so we do it. Number nine would definitely have to be the silicone catch bibs. Um, if you've never seen those, I will pop a picture right here, but they are literal game changer. They make cleanup so much easier and I couldn't recommend them enough. The fact that they're silicone makes them super duper easy to clean. All I do is wipe it with a uh, sponge and then rinse it with some hot water and then voila. And then as far as like eating with it, it catches most of the food that baby drops. Obviously it's not going to catch everything because when you sign up for like baby led weaning, you sign up for the mess and food will be thrown just so you know. <laughs> silicone bibs, total game changer. Um, I have heard a lot of people talk about the the whole body smocks that you can get for baby and I wanted to get one of those but I'm kind of glad that I didn't just because they seem a lot more time consuming than the silicone catch bib. I feel like you would at least have to wash that once a day in order for it not to get like little pieces of food in the creases and crevices. I don't know. Just I'm glad I didn't get it. Alternative to a bib, the full body bib is definitely something to look into because it just sort of with, when you eat sticky foods i guess it would be helpful using the whole body thing like if you're eating oatmeal because you know there's the little pieces of oatmeal that get everywhere and they are the most annoying thing in the world but i could see that being a little bit more helpful but i don't know number 10 is going to have to be give yourself a little bit of grace don't look at what your baby eats in a day look at what they eat in a week uh i follow this page uh on instagram called solid starts I'll put it right here. I'll link it in the description in case you guys are interested. I would definitely say that following their Instagram and seeing the content that they post, it really did help me build my confidence in the realm of baby led weaning because obviously when we first started, one of the things I was scared of was choking and they just they not only validate your fears, but they also show you, you can go around your fears and a baby's body is quite literally made to protect them. If you guys want to look into that, just please go check out their Instagram. It is called Solid Starts. I don't want to get into too much of it because that's their whole realm. They've got all their research backed up on it. They've got all of their certified nutritionists, certified everything. So I would definitely check that out if you're interested. But that is all of my baby led weaning tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The goal is to post one video a week in 2022, but we will see how that goes. If you guys like today's video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one.